Hi everybody, my name is Trent Ferris. I uh, work with Road Assist here at Prime Incorporated. Today I'm going to show you how to change an air filter. And today we're looking at a Peterbilt tractor, but it's really the same on all trucks. You know, what, what you're going to do here, what you're looking at is, is going to be pretty much the same no matter what kind of brand you're, you're looking at. The only real knowledge that you need to have to do this is unscrewing a screw. If you know how to unscrew a screw, you can change your own air filter. So over here, if you look, there's four screws on the air filter. Usually there's two on the top and two on the bottom. And they designed this one really well. You can, if you're tall enough, you can actually access and change this air filter without climbing on the steer tire. I can, I can get to all these bolts and pull this off standing right here on the ground. I've already got all four of these bolts loosened, um, but once you do that, you'll just pull this front cover off right here and the air filter's right there. Um, basically, you just pull it out. You can see this one was changed pretty recently. It's not very dirty yet. You just pull it out, throw it away, and get a new one and put it in. Put your new air filter in, put the cap back on, and, and tighten these screws back down. Um, this particular truck, it took an 8 millimeter wrench. Uh, I think a lot of the Freightliners and most of the other trucks is 10 millimeter, but figure out what size the bolt is, and uh, beyond that, it's not very hard to change your own air filter. One other thing that you need to uh, be aware of, we have a tool on the tractor that's going to tell you exactly when you need to change your air filter. It's called an air flow meter. Um, different on different tractors. Most of the trucks, it's analog. It's going to be on the dash. Um, it's a, a little plastic valve, I guess is what you would call it. Um, little window in it that, that shows red when the air filter needs change. It starts to restrict too much airflow into the engine block, so this airflow meter tells you to change the air filter out. Uh, if it hasn't been done yet, you, had a, you have to get the air filter changed at 100,000 miles, but if you're paying attention to your airflow meter, it should already be done. You should probably change the, the uh, air filter, uh, you know, 85 to 90,000 miles.